Hey, what's going on? It's Matt with the Handy Manual. Are you tired of rummaging through your van, wasting precious time that you could be using to work quicker on the job? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you the top uh, work van organization tips that I use in my own van that save me time and money. So get ready to boost your productivity and impress your clients. So one of the best ways to keep your work van organized is to build custom shelving and drawers for all your tools. So you wanna take an inventory of all your tools and see what kind of configuration shelving you could build that will house all those tools. So I'll show you what I mean. So on the left side here, we have some custom cubbies. I have larger spaces down below for my tool bags, some buckets and a foldable crate. And then back there, I have my, my air compressor. So up top here, I have these custom cubbies that I dado to every three inches or so. And What's nice is that allows you some customization so you can pull these out and uh, put them in place as you need to fit around different materials. So I have some extra caulking tubes here, my caulking gun. Um, I have some uh, shop vac attachments. And then this, I, I removed a bunch of these dividers so that I could keep my shop towels here. But you know, just to give you some ideas on what you can do to customize uh, your work van. So that's shelving. Over here, I have some pull-out drawers um, the drawers are about 50 inches deep, but and I have various different tools all along. On the bottom here, I keep long tools, and this is a great way to just kind of throw in all your long tools, but keep them in one house location. And then in the middle, I have some specialty tools, and up top, I have some, some paint supplies. All right, so next up, we have storage bins and containers to house smaller tools and get some, some further uh, organization within drawers and shelves. So obviously this isn't organized right now, but I've, I have uh, a bunch of acro bins, uh, which are really durable bins um, that stack and you can get all the different shapes and sizes to your liking to, to fit all the different tools you need. But in here, again, I, I date it every eight inches or so and I have these dividers. These are kind of specialty tools that uh, I need to further organize uh, with my acro bins here. And then back here, I just have a bunch of um, larger battery operated tools that I keep in there. So back here again, I have some more acro bins and this is just kind of my deep storage area where I keep supplies so I don't have to run out to the hardware store as often. So another component of the van that I see is often underutilized is the doors. You can hang a lot of things on the doors. Again, just kind of take an inventory of what tools you have and what tools that you use the most that you can grab quickly off the doors. Um, you can attach plywood. A lot of times these doors have all different types of holes in them, so you can attach these molly bolts in here um, and, and get some plywood as a backing, and then you can create shelving off that. All right, now, of course, uh, in transit, you want to keep your tools locked down so they're not rattling and bouncing around in your van. And there's a whole slew of um, tools and equipment that you can buy that will help you do that. So, of course, you know, you can get buy all these different hooks. Um, you can get, you know, even um, a sheet of metal to attach with a plywood backing and um, you can use magnetic holders. Um, these spring clips are great. I highly recommend these to hold. I got my step ladder up there. So you can fit these hooks and things in all different lo locations and configurations in your van. You can see I got my mallet here, my tape, um, and just some safety goggles. So quick access stuff that I can just pull off, put back on quickly. Uh, and they stay put in transit, which is great. All right, so next up we have cable and hose management. So between your electrical cords, uh, your air compressor hoses, and different things like that, you wanna keep those tidy and in your van so things don't get tangled, uh, and that's so you can easily use them and put them back. So of course, bungee cords work really well. Um, these gear times are great, and they uh, these are probably the most convenient thing that I use. Um, just quickly tie off some things. And then I recommend getting a reel for your electrical cord so you can quickly uh, reel it up and uh, run it out. And of course, this is basic stuff, but this is what really keeps you organized in the long term, getting these basic things out of the way. So next up, I recommend a mobile workbench that you can keep within your van uh, so that you can quickly pull it out and use it as a platform to work on. So this is a Ford um, E250. It's a 2005, 
and I basically used the curvature of the van to build this little cubby in here that works great for housing my mobile workbench items like sawhorses and a collapsible crate. There you go, now you have a solid surface to work on. I also have this adjustable work platform that I'll take with me sometimes to jobs too. And this works great as a platform. Another option is to get a foldable cart, something like this. And you can use this as a platform too and keep some additional supplies on here and then you can just roll it around. But you wanna make sure that these items are collapsible and fit neatly in your van so that they don't take up a lot of space. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Those are some of the ultimate work van organization hacks that I use on a daily basis in my van and my, in my business to make me more efficient and save time on the job. So until next time, take care and be well.